everyone, my name is Micronix, and I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking I am this. What a fucking Now, I understand how you may feel. This intro is probably the strangest you've probably seen, or at least the cringiest. And I'd like just, just like to bring this video out to you guys, just to say a commentary, say hello, and, and kind of talk about different things about Battlefront 2. Uh, so this is Battlefront 2, uh, the beta for it at least, the new one, not the classic one, get that. And I would just like to talk about a few things, uh, my opinions on it, the release date, and different technical features that I enjoyed and didn't enjoy out of it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing that I'd like to talk about is the release date, it comes out in November, I think November 18th or something like that, around that area, I quite frankly don't give a shit, it comes out in a month, so that's about it. So, it comes out in a month, and I got to play the open beta. Uh, it's actually going until today, I believe, October 11th. And I just I recorded this a day or two ago and with my friend Spencer, uh, sneaky dude. And so, unfortunately, I recorded the audio completely wrong. So, everything else was in the tracks, so I couldn't record a voiceover of the game if I heard myself talking in the game as well. So, that would be kind of fucked up, so I decided not to do it. So I just removed all the audio and put in this non-copyrighted music in the background to hopefully not get me a copyright strike. Quite frankly, I don't care, but whatever. Uh, I played a few hours of this game, I don't know, maybe five or six hours of it, uh, and it was definitely enjoyable. It was a, a nice refreshing feeling compared to the last Battlefront that came out, which was kind of a disappointment. and. Everybody was saddened by it, but this one this one has hope it the controls feel nice. Everything feels very fluent. There's no Lag issues. I mean I shouldn't have any lag issues when I GTX 1070 and 16 gigs of RAM and an i7 4790k uh, So I would hope I wouldn't get any issues, but there are people out there that experience the same thing I was running this at 1080p so no 4k no crazy 8k or 12k recording, but good enough for me and I played Starfighter and I played Galactic Assault, which is pretty much the two basic game modes they have. One where you, as you can see in the video, play as a plane and you attack the other planes and you kind of just got to do certain objectives and win the match. That's basis of every single game out there, but whatever. Uh, I tried my best. So I played Galactic Assault and I enjoyed it quite a bit because it's definitely a lot more fast paced. It's got different... Uh, areas to move her in. You can go the long way, the, the short way, the kind of fucked up way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so pretty much what I liked the most was actually the Starfighter mode because me and Sneaky Dude, or Spencer, we excelled at this. We got some pretty good numbers in terms of kills, uh, points, and objectives. Everything went very well for me and him, and it was one of the most fun times I've had playing a game in a very long time. And there's a few things that I don't enjoy, like, for example, missiles when they lock onto you. It's an absolute pain in the ass to actually avoid them. Uh, luckily, I found a way around that by pressing Q for fighters and interceptors. That's how you get away from the missiles. It goes into afterburner mode and you get away. Uh, unless they lock on while you're in afterburner, then you're fucked. Otherwise, uh, it's definitely a lot more fun than I would figure out of a, out of a game that is based around first-person shooting and everything else in between. Uh, kind of like a Battlefield one, but this this is completely different in terms of everything there, and I personally really enjoyed it. The actual assault types and everything is very balanced. I mean, the Rebellion Interceptor is kind of not. Uh, it's kind of broken at this time. It definitely has some uh, overpowered issues, but I'm sure they'll patch it and remove it in the future. And the next thing I'd like to talk about is playing with friends. So it's a beta, and so you'll obviously experience problems and issues with uh, connection and all that, which I actually didn't experience any issues while playing the game in terms of connection issues, in terms of uh, FPS drops, anything. I didn't experience any of that, which was beautiful. It was one of the best betas I've played because there's no, there's no issues in terms of technical issues that resulted from it being a beta. Uh, the only things I actually ever experienced was the few glitches here and there through certain walls and certain things not exactly having collision based on them, but it all worked out anyways. Uh, 
I personally enjoyed one part of it where I was actually able to just excel at this fighter area. I just kind of flew up, I just flew ev everywhere and just killed things after everything. The thing I don't like is AI. Obviously they have to add AI to make it more of an intense battle, but you can really start to tell which one is an AI versus a player when they're just flying in a straight line and general players don't do that, they move all around. So if they could either increase the difficulty of the AI or just remove the AI completely and add more players, that would definitely be something that I would thoroughly enjoy. The next thing is the, the starting time for the game. They wait and they make you wait 60 seconds before you're able to actually start the game and play. Uh, so that's not including the time it finds to find a player. So it says players needed, you have to wait until they find the players, then it gives you a 60 second countdown. Which I cannot stand. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that I like to get going into a game, I like to get going, get moving, come on, like, let's kill things. This doesn't do it for me. I have to sit there and wait 60 seconds and, and you know, chat around with everybody saying, oh, how's your day? How's the weather? It's like, well, that's great, but what the fuck are we waiting for? And practically, we're waiting for nothing. They're, the players are full, we're able to play, and everything's good to go. They just make you wait 60 seconds. So, uh, basically, if anything, I would say this game is great for the beta so far, and I'm really looking forward to the future of the game. Uh, I'm really hoping that when they release it, there's going to be huge success, but one thing I'm slightly concerned about is the loot boxes. The loot boxes, if people are able to spend money on the shortcuts to advance into further tiers without having to play the game at all, as long as it doesn't affect what they earn versus what we earn. So let's say I'm playing the game and I play it, I don't want to spend any money, so I'm playing the game and I'm playing it for months and I'm getting the game, as long as they don't get exclusive items for purchasing these shortcuts, I personally have no problem with it, as they will still have the same weapons I will eventually have. So it's not like they're getting exclusive overpowered weapons, it's just they're getting it before I am because they paid extra money and it's just a lazy way of going about it. If Sony doesn't want to spend all that time to actually sit there and wait and earn all these things, they just want to just go straight to the good weapons, straight to the testing of each weapon. You know what, that's fine, but as long as it's balanced enough that you don't get a, a squad of, of people with, you know, completely, like they're level one and they have the be <clears throat> best weapons in the game, and you have the other group of people who've been playing the game for weeks and they they are earning slowly up to their, as long as it's balanced in terms of weaponry, in terms of, of attack damage and everything, as long as it doesn't affect the actual gameplay in terms of, you know, one person could be really good with this weapon and one person could be really shit with the other weapon, as long as it's kind of balanced in that area, I think it'll be alright. Though it can be kind of concerning when somebody's spending 40 bucks just to be able to get a shortcut on something, which can be a worry as long as they fix it properly, it shouldn't be, but otherwise it'll hopefully be alright. I personally like the idea of this game succeeding, like the graphics are beautiful, I had everything maxed out with DirectX 12 and everything on, uh, the audio, the sound quality is very nice. The only one thing I don't like about it though is when you're playing Assault, the amount of leaves and birds that are on the ground are just absolutely insane like a, a flock of birds will fly up and you can't see anything and it turns out there's a droid sitting there and they they saw through the the birds or leaves before you and then you die that's it's it's saddening it's kind of disappointing you realize that it's one of those things that you can't avoid but you know what i'm all for pretty things in games so I, i'm fine with it just, just try to keep it out of my fucking face kind of thing uh, so, anyways, I'd like to also state in this video that I would love to start recording more games and uh, actually having gameplay with friends and everything. So, example is Escape from Tarkov. I have the uh, Edge of Darkness edition, which is the limited edition of the game. Uh, and me and a friend, Austin, have been playing the, the shit out of that game, and we absolutely love it. Uh, everything you can do in it, everything from just scouring the map for supplies or running out naked with a, a tomahawk and killing people with it. It's, it's amazing and I would love to record some more games for you guys and I really hope you guys would like me to as well. So if you guys do want to see any games just let me know. Uh, I know I have a whopping 10 subscribers on this channel so the odds of somebody actually seeing this video that 
wants to recommend something is probably slim, but hey, there might be that one random guy out there that recommends a game to play. So, that's what I like to say. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I tried to keep it entertaining. I got some pretty good kills in there. I got some good, uh, kind of shots and everything, and I also hope that you guys will return to my next video. I have no idea what it's going to be or when it's going to be out, but hey, keep notified and you might be able to find out. Maybe a month could be, well, hopefully no more than a month from now, but you'll find out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.